We are back. My next guest, I'm sure you all know or you know his uh, creations. Jim Henson is the creator of the famous Muppets. And he has a new syndicated series called The Muppet Show, which also features special guests. And uh, right now, this evening, it is my pleasure to introduce <laughs> the Swedish chef. <laughs> Every time you see Jim Henson with the Muppets, they come up with something new. And a little later on, he's got a little piece of tape for us. He is going to play. They're most creative. They do wild things. We're getting set up over there because I, I kind of miss my favorite character, which is uh, Kermit the Frog. Mm. So I thought I would go over Love Kermit and the Frog. Uh, have a little discussion with Kermit and see if he's ready. Hmm? Just a minute. Oh, oh, I see. Kermit's, Kermit is not Kermit's ready. Kermit's not ready. He's getting a uh, 
He's getting a wartectomy. <laughs> uh, gonna graft his warts off or something, yeah. but as soon as Kermit's ready, I'll go over. Yeah. What a Kermit. Oh, there's Kermit. I'm gonna there go over. There's now. Kermit. There we go. Hello, Kermit. Hello, Hello dear. Hey, it's great to see you. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to be here, too. Yeah. <clears throat> getting uh, getting my uh, my parts all together here. Yeah. You're looking very good, Kermit. Oh, uh, thank you. Is this is this new series you have? Is this a children's show? Uh, no, it's for frogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, really. Oh, it's for families. Oh, families. You know, all kinds of children and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, oh, sure. Are you are you kind of proud to be the host of a big television show? That's an important, you know. Well, I'm, I'm proud job. to be the host of a small television show. It's, it's uh -huh. kind of a, a little bitty show, you know. It's not, yeah. a, not a great big thing. Yeah. But a uh, little bitty, you know. Well, what made you decide to become a performer, Kermit? Well, I don't know. One day I was sitting around on my pad, my lily pad, you know. <laughs> and I said, uh... Hey, dummy, you can talk. You see, which is a contradiction in terms. Well, you didn't know you that. See. Yeah, right. Yeah, because most frogs just you know, kind of go like that. Uh, and I, I found I could really talk. Really and talk. so that and I, I decided to hop off to Hollywood. And here you are. Yeah, which was a big hop. Yeah, you know. well, that, now, television is a lot of hard work, you know. There, That's true. Yeah, do you, have, do you have time for any fun? Well, uh, actually, I, I work pretty hard. Yeah. Pretty hard, and I don't really have time to, uh, no, I don't have time to do anything but tennis. But you, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, what? girls, do you have a steady romance or anything like that? Oh, well, uh, I, I got this one. Uh, you know, on our show, we got, we got this, uh, uh, well, she's a pig. She's a pig. Yes. <laughs> and she has a hankering for me, but, you know, it would never work out. Why is know. that? Well, you know, I mean, uh, well, if we got married, we'd have uh, you know, a bunch of bouncing baby figs. No, oh, that's kind of silly. You know, little green footballs. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Are there are there any new characters on your television show? Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. We got the uh, my Q. What? Ah, uh, uh, ah, Johnny Carson. Hello. Uh, this is ah. <laughs> This is, uh, this is Fozzie Bear over here. Oh, Fozzie Bear. Fozzie yeah, Bear, yes. Bear. Hi, Fozzie. Hi, Hi Johnny Carson. Yeah. Hi. Hi there. Yeah, okay, okay. Fozzie, take it easy. How, how, yeah. how do you like show business so far? Oh, I love the show business. Uh huh. The show business is my life. I'm a stand-up comedian bear. You're a stand-up mm -hmm. comedian bear. Yes. Uh -huh. I am a. I am, the show business. <laughs> show business. I I I know funny. It's your life. You know from funny. Oh, I know from funny. Do you yes. two like? Do you two like working together? Uh, no, uh, well, no. yes. Uh, no. Uh, well, no. Uh, yeah. Well, whatever. Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, uh, you have you have to memorize your scripts or anything like that. No, that's, most no, of the time, most of the time uh, we just sort of, just sort of that live. That's, that's my just, line. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Fozzie, Fozzie. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Talk to me now. How, how did you get started in show business? Uh, well, because of my comedy shtick. Your comedy shtick. Yes, I do great comedy shtick. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, show him up. Show him you want to see about, some yeah, comedy? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, do, do I'll show you a shtick. take. Here's a take. Hubba wah. <laughs> okay? Hubba. Hubba, hubba wah. Yeah. Okay? What the hey? Hey, okay, what the hey? Yeah. Okay? That's one. Yeah, that's one. You want to see my ringer? You got it, you, you got it. You you got it. Can you do a double skull for me? The double skull. Double okay, skull. Here we go. Yeah, do it, do it. That's what How about it? What the hey? Hey, hey, hey. hey what? Hey, that's good. You want to see the, the pinnacle of uh, my career? This is the biggie? This is how I always get a possible laugh. Okay. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> hey. Works every time. I didn't know. I, I'm not I too know. proud to have a comedy crutch. Yeah. You know, a lot of people who work together don't spend any time together after work. You you spend some time together? Ah. Uh, no. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Would you let go of me? I'm sorry. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, look, I, I wish you good luck, and I, I hope I hope your new show is great, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, oh, thank Johnny you. Carson. Thank you, thank Fozzie. You. Thank bye you very much. Take care, love. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. We'll see you over here. We'll do this, and we'll be right back. And talk to you, man. After this. This, of course, is Mr. Jim Henson, who does all these wonderful things for the Muppets. <laughs> I was just asking Jim about uh, Fozzie the Bear. Uh, it's, a, it's a relatively new character. Yeah, he's a brand new puppet. And it takes you a while, I would guess, to find the character, the thing that works, the things that yeah. become funny yeah. to even a puppet. Yeah, we started with the idea of doing a stand-up bear, and... Uh, it, it, we're all, where are all the good stand-up bears coming from nowadays? <laughs> and, uh, well, you have to start with a, a design, and, uh, and then the puppet is built, and then you change it around a lot, and, and then Frank, Frank Oz does right. Fozzie. And, and the voice uh, is important to match it to yeah. the 
to the character, isn't yeah. it? Well, Frank always brings a lot into any character he does. Yeah. He does uh, well, he does Cookie Monster and Grover right. and Bert on Sesame Street. So he's always done a lot of our funniest characters. That is really super. And it's he's really, great. really an art. I would guess Kermit's probably still your favorite. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kermit's been around the longest. And uh, so he's, he's the host of this new show. Right. The Muppet Show. So now you work with special guests, live people. Yeah. I, I, re I, I almost hate to refer to the, the characters as puppets. It's almost... They become, they take on a reality yeah. oh, when sure. you work with them. We think of them all as people. It's, yeah, it's kind it's... of a family of characters. Yeah. Now, are people more difficult to work with or the, or the characters? Uh, some people are funny. Well, you put them up against a puppet and they feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't because I used to be a ventriloquist and did ventriloquism. And you get used to talking to a character as, right. as a person. Right. Well, in terms of production, uh, puppets are a lot slower to shoot because we shoot production numbers and it takes a lot longer because you have to work out all kinds of details. Right. You know, when you're working with people, you just say, you know, the person walks across here and picks up a prop and walks back. And with a puppet, you have to, you know, it sometimes takes 20 it. minutes to do that same little move, you know, to walk over there and yeah. figure out how to pick it up and get back. A lot of people very often, some of the things you do say, how do they do that back there? Because some of the things are deceptive mm. exactly what is going on, whether the head is in the puppet, whether the hand, whether it's... Um, part animation. I understand we have a little piece of film tonight we're going to show. Yeah, we brought one, one piece from the show that uh, we were working on and uh, we decided to show just for purposes of, of uh, showing people what it looks like to work the show. And uh, so this is a number called Ragmoth. Behind the scenes. Yeah, and it starts off as a number and then it begins to, you begin to see how we're doing it. Okay, this is called Ragmoth? Ragmoth. Watch the monitors in the studio and watch your television sets at home. Which would help. discussing, as, just as we got into this, whether it is better sometimes not to show people what goes on yeah, than there, to there show them the backstage. Yeah, there are some people that feel that to do that uh, really destroys the illusion. The illusion of... Uh, uh, it's sort of interesting. When we're doing Sesame Street, uh, kids come into the studio and they'll see Frank and I working Ernie and Bert, and we'll just have the puppets right here on our hand, and the kid comes right up and talks to Ernie. And there's no, you know, there's, the illusion doesn't seem to be broken at all for the right. kids. And really I get more res uh, sort of resistance to this idea from adults. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess we want to stay as children yeah, and say, hey, I don't want to know exactly how that works. Yeah. It's like a magic trick. You do a magic trick for somebody, they will beg you and say, please show me how it's done. I said, that, you just can't do that. That's impossible. So if you break down in a weak moment and show them, you know what they, what they say? They say, oh, is that all there is to it? They find out the simplicity of the trick and that they've been fooled and all of a sudden mm -hmm. it's not such a good trick. Before it was absolutely unbelievable and impossible, but if you tell them, mm -hmm. they feel cheated and they say, oh, that's, oh, that's, that's it, huh? <laughs> and you say, why didn't I tell them? So that, that's interesting. So thanks for being with us again. It, it is most fascinating. I hope you come back whenever you like. Thank you. It's you always, you always got a proscenium stage yes. here. Yes. Thank you, Jim. Yes. Jim Hanson. <laughs> I have mixed emotions. I guess I'm one of those adults. I didn't want to know. I didn't want to know. You know, all of a sudden you saw those people with the poles and yep. you said, 
Oh, they have people holding poles. Yeah, that's right. I did the You've same thing. You've been cheated. Though. You don't want to know. Yeah. I guess we're kids. And we'll be back after this with Neil Sedaka.